we're actually renting out this entire hotel. This is a fully restored historical hotel right here in the middle of Hunter. I think one of the special things that the Catskills has is that small town American feel with some great views, some great nature. This is where, at the hotel, where nature meets some modern. These guys are four California dudes who are very involved in the restaurant and hotel business. They wanted to come back to the roots and they recreated and restored this historical hotel. So we're gonna be doing some marriage coaching in here. We're gonna be doing some yoga, hikes. There's actually a bar and restaurant attached right to it. So all meals, except for one and a half meals for the week are included. This is a really special place. This is something that I think you could rekindle some special feelings with your significant others. Now we're gonna head downtown, show you guys a little bit of downtown Hunter and the neighboring town, downtown Wyndham. There's been a huge injection capital in this area over the last four years due to COVID. So I'm gonna show you around a little bit. Literally two minutes from the hotel. Um, it's got this amazing view behind me, as you can see. This is a great little area. It's simple. I just feel relaxed when I'm here. And uh, I haven't even had a beer, right? Uh, we're at the brewery and they're not open yet till three, but they have a bunch of tables lined up on the outside. They have a large piece of wood that stretches about 50 yards along the deck, and you can sit there and hang out and just take a look at the backdrop. That's actually Hunter Mountain in the distance. Uh, there's no snow on it, right? Obviously, because it's 75 degrees out, but uh, this is even a better view when there's snow on the mountain. Can't get that mountain air out of my goddamn lungs. Like the mountain wanted the song the second I woke up. It was cold then, but the birds sang. Summer's on its way. I flew back home like a dum dum to turn dough into money. But I might move. We're the Tap House, downtown Wyndham. Great bar, restaurant, got some delicious food. The bartender is excellent. Guy really knows how to have a good time. This is about a 12 minute ride from where the Hotel Lillian is. This is another downtown stretch. There's probably five to six different restaurants, bars, all different types of cuisine. It's unique, it's mountain feel, and uh, not far from here are some other breweries. And then about three minutes up the hill is the top of Wyndham, where I'm gonna take you next. So, you wanna hear the biggest sham out there. I was under the impression bringing Matt on. He was a scholar, right? Smart, <laughs> athletic, top notch. I mean, look at this guy's specimen. And he can't even walk more than a half a mile without his knee falling apart. This guy was recruited to Syracuse for track, track stud. So that's all Matt has ever told me. So I assumed Matt had a degree at Syracuse. Well, I find out today while shooting content up here in the Catskills that Matt does not have a degree. He dropped out to be a firefighter, which he also never became a firefighter. So, got him. I might have to fire him. You need a degree to work for fucking WCC. Where are we going now? We're gonna go to the top of Wyndham. All the way up, baby. We're gonna give you a nice, full view of the city. I just said a small town. It's beautiful up here. It has some really sick private houses that I would love to own one day. I feel that incline? I feel that in your belly, Matty. Oh yeah, the lift is right there. This is right where I did that. I foot on the rocks. That hoodie foot up. Oh, oh really? There and spin around. Nice. Let's just hop out here. Bruh. East Coast. You guys sleep on this, man. Look at these fucking houses. Look where we are. This place is absolutely stunning. And as we hit the peak of fall, which is when the couple's retreat will be going down, this is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, if you scan the camera all the way to the left inside the panoramic shot, and then come all the way back right, we're at the top of the city, the mini city, the small town America. This is Wyndham, uh, 12 minutes from Hunter. They have very similar views in the overlook views. This is 
only three hours from the beach and you feel like you're on the other side of the country. Really excited about this trip. And some of the hikes that we're gonna do have some pretty good elevation, nothing crazy like 10,000. For example, the fire trail is something that's like a 12 incline and you do that for about 50 minutes straight. You hit some switchbacks. You come across this old historical hotel, which they actually used to take the horse and buggy up. You can get inside the hotel. And then another 50 yards above that is the fire towers. Um, these fire towers were actually made to make sure that there was no fires going on in the Catskills. And you can actually go up in the fire tower and overlook the entire Catskills. I promise you, there's not a better view on the East Coast. I promise you, dude, you could do it. You're limiting yourself. That's in your own head because you're like, man, I wouldn't want to pay that bill. It's expensive, dude, but you know what? Like Bill Dorr said, I got a text message. He was showing up in an hour. They got there, got the job done. I got a text message and it had a link for me to pay. I agree 100%. I think that fear is fake, Chris. And if you invest in yourself and put yourself out there, the work you will, you'll have so much work, you won't even know what to do with yourself. That I'm speaking from experience. I think you're trying to that, figure it out you yourself, know? Chris. I love you. You've been paying attention to Limitless. You've been paying attention in here. You've been doing 75 hard. You could do fucking 1,075 1, all you want. That ain't going to make you more money, dude. It's, you need to you need to invest your dollars into people who can help you go get those eyes and just guide you as you scale up. It's not that hard. a little bit about this place, man. What did you guys do here? We, so this was an existing building. It was a men's big and tall store that's actually now moved across the street. Uh, I used to drive by this all the time. It was empty for a number of years. Just vacant, block building, ugly from the front, looked kind of run down. We came in here, I mean, there was walls up, there was asbestos flooring. We mm. completely did an abatement, cleaned this whole place out. We basically left everything. We took everything out and left just the slab and the block walls on the exterior. It's beautiful work, and I, I think you're going to hit your 15 million mark faster than you think. I hope so. Um, I believe in you. I think you're a sharp guy. You have your dad's experience and wisdom as well as some other great players on your team. And uh, I appreciate you letting us stop by and see some of your work, dude. Yeah, I appreciate Thanks you reaching out to me and, uh, for, for this opportunity. And uh, We're gonna keep doing it. We're gonna That's do some it. more. A lot of great resources in the pit. We're always trying to just add more resources, man. That's just it. Help, help, help. It's and a then wealth I, of knowledge. We all win if I help. Absolutely. Awesome, thank you. All right, guys. That's good. Sweet.